Hello and welcome back to me playing City Skylines. More like Highway Interchange Express Building Simulator 2015. Oh boy. First and foremost, yes, I know it's not even. That is because it's a tiny little bit curved. That is why. But this is a cloverleaf that I built myself. And this cloverleaf, ladies and gentlemen, is going to work much better than the one that they built. Partially the reason behind this is this right here. And I'm gonna show you. Right now, yes, this is a five-way crossroad. It doesn't create traffic signs. But eventually, once we make a huge roundabout up here, just like uh, we did uh, down here, we're gonna be able to connect everything. We're gonna be able to connect everything. We're gonna be able to extend this further. We can make expressways on the highway already existing. Things will go very fast, let me tell you that. And it's gonna be fluent. It's gonna be absolutely fluent. Yes, the downside is that it is incredibly space consuming, but it is it does work well. The reason behind this is because if we if I let you see, the um That is the reason. Look at their cloverleaf and look at mine. Look at how much more ramp space mine has. That is the reason. With short ramps, traffic can pile up once the cars try to get back onto the highway. See right here. That is not what happens with long ramps like this ones. This is more like a butterfly cloverleaf of sorts. Of course, it's again not even and that's simply because of the curve. I've tried to build it as even as possible, and that is the most I could get out of it. And it's actually quite fine, it's pretty pretty decent. It's uh, sizable, it is pretty huge actually, and it works just fine. Now this way we'll be able to connect our world with this side of the map, and through this side we're gonna be able to expand our cities accordingly with a dense population. And that's good, because right now we only have 7,700 people in two villages that are not very connected. One being here, the uneducated village of course, and the one other being here. Now how are we gonna do this? Well, we still need to do a couple of things, namely uh, we need to make uh, connections that will take out of this high that will take you out of this highway and something like that. Oh come on mayor, does the city bird come up with anything? Uh, modern than f more modern than farming. No! No, you're stuck with farming and you're gonna like it, assholes. Oh boy. Alrighty. So, what are we going to do right here? Well, the idea is commercial over on this area, residential here and here, as well as a mixture of offices. And it'll go on all the way down here, which is always nice. So how about we start building that right now? Get out of here. Uh, by the way, this whole interchange, building it, cost me about 40,000 bucks. 40,000 credits to build. It's not a lot. It's definitely not a lot, uh, considering the invaluable uh, addition that it is, is to my city. Notice that these actually are starting to slowly get closer together. We'll probably want to fix that, but right now it's fine. It's fine for the time being. There we go. Now. How are we gonna go approach exits? Well, that is very simple, really. If we make an exit right here, we can connect this ramps straight to the exit, instead of them having to go from this highway, or this highway, or rather, just this highway in this case. Instead of them going from this highway right here, into this highway, and go into the exit, We'll basically have two separate ramps, one that connects from here, from the already existing ramp, and one that connects from the highway, so that the traffic that comes from the agricultural center, and this highway in particular, will be connecting in such a way that they do not get in the way of the guys that are getting from this highway. And that is very important tra traffic-wise. So let me explain it to you in a more concrete and non-colloquial way. So basically we, again, use this tool, we go up above. It's still enough for me to fit in a roundabout, which is fortunate enough. Um, the first one is always the one that is most risky to misplace. 
we should be fine. We upgrade this into a highway, so this is a basically a freeway roundabout, alright? There we go. This is right now a freeway roundabout. Yes, it's a bit tilted. Nothing I can do about it. The world is tilted. You have to work with that. You have to live with that, alright? Now we build two ramps that will connect from this highway onto the roundabout. Right now, since we have that benefit of the doubt, we can simply build them, yes, both the same way. Then connect them, if at all possible. Hmm. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do then. The issue, as I see it right now, is that there is too little space. I could build it straight from here. Uh, it shouldn't cause more traffic, but we cannot really place it. Okay, we're gonna move this roundabout tiny bit. No problem. So yeah, for the last next couple of episodes, expect me to build lots of highways and stuff like that. It is simply a need right now, because we want to expand into a actual city. We don't want to stay in a fucking, you know, suburb fest forever. We don't really want that. We don't want suburbs. I mean, suburbs are nice, but after a while it just... Space already occupied. Ah, Mom! Okay, seriously. Is this good enough for you? Thank you. Uh, this is gonna be a bit iffy now. You know what, we're gonna destroy a bit the highway. As long as we have the first curve, should be fine. We're just gonna drag the highway below it. There. Now we build a highway. I always click here for highway, it just looks like a highway, alright? That's my reasoning. So we'll have to make it a tiny bit curved away from that column. Same about this one. Apparently a double click there. What is the hotkeys for this shit? You would think that after like 50 to 60 hours in this game, I would know that, but no, I don't. I really don't know if there's a hotkey for it. If there is, it would be very useful, actually. I'm not gonna say not to that. But I should check myself, especially once I'm recording in a batch of videos and people get all frustrated at my ignorance. Sometimes, guys. Are you really doing this for me? Fine. We'll have it your way, Mr. Highway. Yeah, sometimes it's a bit difficult to fit things the way you'd like them to fit. Sometimes, though, it's very easy. Don't ask me why. There we go, that's beautiful. Okay, now look at this. I'm gonna make two exit ramps here. Or rather, one exit and one entrance. But the thing is... We're clever. We're clever and we're gonna stay clever. Okay, this is already better. It could be better. Uh, we're gonna try and fix it this side. There we go. Again, yes, I know it's inverted. Yes, I know I can invert them back. Don't worry, guys. There you go. This works now. See, now here's the thing. Normally, People would use this ramp to exit and re-enter from here. That is not optimal, because this would generate a lot of traffic over on this stretch, right? Well, the optimality about having huge-ass ramps is that you can 
connect this two together in an ugly way. Um, connect this two. Okay, please. Cooperate with me right now. Does it real? Do you really want it that curved? Is this what you really. This makes it longer though, that's the issue. Alright. There. Actually, I'm gonna be a bit cleverer. And to force them out earlier, we're gonna already make it over here. <laughs> They'll never see this coming. They'll not even know where to go. <laughs> oh, 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 they're gonna be so fooled about this. They'll say, we won't get fooled again, but the truth is, the truth is different. No, I just want it to clip nicely. Let this clip nicely. This is important for my city, you know? This is globally very important. There we go. Look at that how... Look at how smooth it is. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let's strangle someone. It's so beautiful. Look at that. Isn't it fucking gorgeous? This, this is super great. I don't know if this is how real highways work, but it's beautiful. Look, it even looks like kind of an alien. This is the head, this is uh, the little hands gliding all the way down, and this is the legs. It is ac does actually look like a thin man from uh, XCOM, doesn't it, now that you, you look at it from this side. And we're gonna basically do the same on the other side. Well, not really, because it's not necessary to do it on the other side. The reason behind this is we build this highway a bit over here, inverted the right way, and the only thing we really need to build is off-ramp. Smooth connection to the highway. Granted, this is a bit shorter, so we're gonna actually lengthen it up. We can do that, uh, because... I can do this. I can definitely do this. Yeah, let's make it lengthy, because why not? Sure, we're running out of space. Whatever. Whatever. As if... As if this is gonna stop me. The grand engineering will never stop. Should have studied urban planning. Should have. Look, it's sad. It's uh, happy. It's sad and happy. This is when you know that you usually. Well, actually, we can do it from here. From over here. Lower it to ground level. Extend it next to the highway. No, not, no, no need to do that. Now we do that. It's happy and sad, happy and sad. When it's shifting, it means that it's the same point. You know? See? It's the same point. Sometimes, if the tools aren't available in the game, sometimes you have to be clever and devise them yourself. But look at that stuff. Look at that. Isn't it fucking marveliciously gorgeous? Yes. Yes, it is. And it is functional. That is the most important part, kids. Functionality. I could bore you and do the 
very same thing right here right now but I'm gonna do that off camera I'm, I've shown you how I intended it to do and right now people that will come from this highway instead of connecting to this highway going here and back into this ramp will find an easier path to be this one which is a bit of a faster road and since it's a faster road they're gonna be using this one instead and going up here making a roundabout and going straight into the city heart be it here or be it there that it does that it does that dip that does not matter magnificent beautiful marvelicious delicious anyway <clears throat> lots of residential demand I presume most yes mostly because of this in this case what we're gonna do is simple we're gonna be building a road that goes over the can you build this does this work this does work just how much traffic do we expect guys how much traffic do we expect anyway uh, we are going to we don't have trains unlocked yet do we no we don't we're not gonna destroy the train tracks until we have trains unlocked that that's actually a clever plan isn't it now come and think of it here there is a lot of space still to expand so for the time being we're gonna build normal roads that connect over here and through these we'll be able to build more population population is important nowadays or so I hear I'm gonna swirl this road like this parallel to the train line kind of parallel it's not perfectly parallel but fine I'll fix it Jesus don't have to be that jerkish about me about it you know um, there happy now good assholes there you go how does that look like it looks like pretty fancy Still not perfectly parallel, but it works. It's not parallel because this track is not straight, you know? Okay, we're gonna... We're probably gonna build a... One of those... Cool de sacs. Right here. No. There. Hey, it's a P. Or a Q, depending on how you read it. Well, it's like more of a Q than a P, really. This is not a P, this is this is an inverted P. Don't 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 just okay. Thank you. So yeah, not very optimal space-wise, uh, it consumes more space than needed, but on the flip side, we can make one way around now. <laughs> That's not really a flip side, uh, come to think of it, but, ah, no, don't do this to me game, there you go. It's gonna be a lot of space for p population, that that's for sure. Okay. There we go. Plenty of space for people. Peoples will be inhabiting this place shortly. So let's connect it to the pipelines and it's gonna be close to 20 minutes soon. Once it does reach 20 minutes, we're gonna stop with the recording. At least we did something more productive than last time where I just rambled about what I should be doing with that highway intersection since I didn't like the existing cloverleaf for unpractical reasons. But now that's solved and out of the way so I'll be able to proceed on with life, which is, all, which is always welcome. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna connect this energy node like this. 
and then we're going to expand normal residential areas over here. I did have to take a break, by the way. That, that's exactly the reason behind why it. Um, I had to set everything. I did, it took a one-day break because I recorded five episodes of XCOM yesterday, and soon afterwards I recorded three of uh, City Skylands. And as you might have noticed, my commentary was starting to go downwards. Therefore, I decided to take a day break. Tomorrow I leave, so I'm gone for good. Well, for a while, anyway, for half a month. So, don't expect any, too many responses in the comments, if that's what you're hoping for. Sadly, I won't be around for that, so you'll have to deal with it for a little while. Well, I'll try to still reply if there is going to be any demand for something in particular, considering, you know, several video games came out recently, Pillars of Eternity, which I'm learning and loving. Um, not just Pillars of Eternity. You know what we could use here? We could really use a crematorium, or rather a cemetery. There is none whatsoever here, and there is dead bodies. Dead bodies! Bam. Here, have your cemetery. Um, I'm gonna give them fire protection, because we can. Police. Not really needed. No schools, though. Wait a moment. Why is there a good education over here? Did I build a school by mistake? No, I did not. I guess they're just happy. <laughs> they're just happy to live here and therefore they have lots of trash, but other than that, and dead people, but eh. whatever. So yeah, there's plenty of new games, Pillars of Eternity, which I'm actually hoping to make a series of soon enough, and uh, the Scholar of the First Scene, Dark Souls 2, has come out also recently, so I'm gonna check those two games out on my channel. Thanks everybody for watching this cluster fuffle of a episode and building highways and intersections. And until next time, be well. Bye!